Hello, uh, this is a quick unboxing for the MSI Pro uh, B650MP motherboard. It's a B650 based uh, AM5 motherboard for Ryzen. Supports Ryzen 9000 series and presumably below as well. <laughs> uh, quick look at the back so you can get a little sort of you can pause it and read what it says on the back about how many ports it's got that kind of thing it's a micro ATX motherboard there's a quick view of the back but we'll, we'll have a look at that there's a QR code for the user manual if you want to scan that and have a look at that while we're doing this I'll just open it up it's not sealed so um, this is the actual board itself so we'll just take that out and have a look at that in a minute and we'll see what's underneath here there's a bit of cardboard we've got uh, IO shield one SATA cable okay and there's a couple of uh, M.2 locking uh, I suppose the screws are they yeah M.2 locking screws little mounts M.2s there's a European Union regulatory compliance notice there's a quick installation guide um, I think this is probably going to be the one that they shove into all of their uh, motherboards so yeah it's basic yes generic so it's not particularly helpful so you don't get a great deal with it um, but that's what you get with it let's have a look at the actual board itself so um, see if it's sealed it is sealed I don't like pulling those seals so it tends to stretch and tear the plastic so I'll just chop it with my little knife which has now been sharpened so that's better and then we'll take it out and have a look so there's the motherboard itself uh, yeah so there's the main ATX there's the USB 3 there's the Gen 2 USB there's the main socket that's metal not exactly the biggest heat sink I've ever seen um, warning indigestion hazard so they're, they're getting quite big on uh, warnings about the battery because if you swallow that because it fits quite nicely <laughs> um, in your mouth uh, you're going to be in big trouble and you'll probably die so they're quite you know big on that the back of it the IO shield back of it looks like that so there's actually a PS2 there which is interesting and then you've got a couple of uh, as a display port and an HDMI and a VGA so it's I think that's because this is sort of a might be a business sort of motherboard which is what the B bit means I think uh, and you've got some USB ports two four six eight USB ports and then the usual uh, audio connectors so that's it so for 100, 120 quid you don't seem to get much do you so uh, yeah so <laughs> I hope this is helpful. Uh, any questions, stick them in the comments. Um, I like comments. Uh, liking and subscribing is also um, appreciated if you found this useful because you were thinking of buying this. I'm going to use this in a, in a PC that I'm making um, this week. So you're going to see this again when I talk about that. So um, yeah, as ever, thanks for watching. So here's a tip for the motherboard. Just I'd tag it on to the end of the unboxing video. Uh, when you first turn it on, it's going to take an alarmingly long time for it to boot and that's because it does RAM training and it does a CPU check and everything else so the first time it boots it will hang and it will take a long time just leave it and it will get there in the end and with this board there's diagnostic LEDs here you've got one at the top which is red next one down is yellow and then I think there's another one which is the VGA I think but that didn't come on <laughs> and then the bottom one's green and it carries on booting so you might find that the red one stays on for a bit while it works out what cpu you've got and then the yellow one will stay on for a bit while it works out what ram you've got and tweaks the timings and adjusts it okay now what i found was um ddr5 is still obviously a bit twitchy what i found was that this particular ram it's um Pat what is it oh, patriot viper this patriot viper stuff uh viper venom this stuff here um, it, it does work 
but it does take a few boots for it to work and I also had to change the BIOS as well <laughs> to get the bloody thing to work. Um, if you're using a Ryzen uh, sort of uh, 7600 or yeah, a Ryzen 5 series, something like that, then um, well this machine has actually got this in it, I'll show you what it's got. It's got a uh, Ryzen 5 and it's the um, 7 600x that's what it's got on it um, obviously when you go into the bios you can turn off the onboard graphics in the bios that's a that's a nice little tip also um when it you're looking at the bios don't just think oh what i'll do is i'll put the latest one on because what i've noticed is because i've tried a few of them um all the ones that have the 9000 series you know added support for this tweaks for that they don't like this they don't they didn't like the ram and they didn't it didn't you know it just didn't feel right it wasn't booting very well so i downgraded to the one before the 9000 was mentioned and everything works fine now so it's all good uh, i am going to swap that ram out though for ram that is on the qvl because here's the other tip for this motherboard and this works for all motherboards actually yes you can buy whatever ram just happens to end up in your basket usually it's based on you know how <laughs> how many gigs is it and how much does it cost and has it got lights so don't just go for the cheapest one the best way to do this and to be fair it's what i normally do but i didn't do with this the best way to do this is to check the motherboard qvl so you check the list of sticks of ram that in this case msi have tested with the board and given a thumbs up to so don't sort of go off piste and buy the cheapest ram that says it's ddr5 this or ddr5 that it doesn't matter you if you want an easy life and who doesn't go on the qvl and look at the list and see what ram is listed on that and buy that <laughs> because that's going to work um so yeah anything else um there is uh, the battery is interesting because it's got a really annoying uh, mechanism on it but i've done a separate video for that there's a link in the description for that in case it's driving you mad um everything else uh i think worked out fine this this when i bought this motherboard it was the cheapest one that had the gen 2 USB C thing so uh that's kind of why i bought it um it, it does support msi mystic light but there's no actual leds on the board itself um apart from that it's it's a micro atx motherboard it's got two argb headers which is really handy i thought that was quite nice so it's a full featured board it's about 140 pounds i think it was 120 130 quid something like that so it's not a, a value one but you can expect to do a bit of work especially if when you turn it on if it doesn't behave itself straight away leave it give it time and it will train itself but if it doesn't you know make sure you're using the right kind of ram you might have to update the bios and just a little word on that so there's a button on the back that says flash bios button and what you do is you get a, a fat 32 formatted memory stick and you download the bios from the msi website you rename it um to bios.rom i think it is and then you put that memory stick in that hole there and you press that button and it updates the bios you need to apply power to it the instructions say uh, if you look at the msi youtube video on it the instructions say do it with that processor ram you know do it on the bare board but it actually works when everything is is built because i had to use it because this thing wouldn't boot at all initially because of probably the ram actually um so i flashed the bios to an, uh, the latest version and it booted and then then things st <laughs> also here's another one as well uh, have i such fun with this if you do flash the bios and those top two sockets don't work just flash the bios again what i did was i went back to the version that didn't mention the ryzen 9000 so it's not the first by the time i made this video the first two are beaters and then there's there's another one which has got 9000 um stuff on it and then the one i think it's the one before that which i think technically was also a beta but it didn't mention the ryzen 9000 so i i flashed this to the one that didn't say that and everything now works the ram has trained itself and it all boots and everything's fine i am going to swap that ram out for ram that's on the list though but yeah um anything else i can think of that annoyed me with this not 
No, not really. The uh, uh, having the battery so that you can't change the battery without moving the graphics card is a bit annoying. Um, but everything else is fine. There's, it's yeah. So if you've got any questions, then stick them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them if I can. This is a machine for a customer, so I'm gonna. It is gonna disappear soon. <laughs> But if so, if you're quick, um, I can answer questions for you. Maybe do the follow-on video or something. But uh, if you do have any questions, yeah, stick them in the comments. Uh, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Um, I don't make a great deal of money out of this, but uh, it's kind of fun to do. Um, and I do like to, you know, solve problems and then think maybe someone else has had that problem and this is what I did and now it's working. So yeah, hopefully this has helped you. And if it has, brilliant. Thanks for watching. <laughs>